This is a Lockthon Plays, and this is week 5 of the community events in No Man's Sky. I am doing it about 10 minutes after it went live, so unfortunately there will already be comm stations on the planet. Um, but here we go. So we need to talk to H Hesperus this time. I understand you have taken an investigation, Kindred. Nada is fortunate to have your assistance. Let's ask about Nada, and then I will come back on a second save and ask for guidance and put that text in here as well. There is a powerful force at play here. Nada is fearful of such things. They are truly a brilliant Korvax, unique amongst their kind, but a Korvax nonetheless. It would be unreasonable to expect them to share our perspective, Kindred. I jumped to this conversation and of what you will do next. Not exactly empirical research, true, but I've had dreams of this nature before. I trust in the vision that showed me. In turn, I'm asking you to trust me. You will enter a portal to reach the troubled planet. The destination is predetermined. You will discover its universal address upon stones of knowledge. They will respond to the touch of a traveler. Until we meet again, kindred. I like his eyes. Dark Ma. I wonder how they choose the names for these. So here we are on my second go through to see what else Hesperus has to tell us. Ask for guidance. I jumped at this conversation, Kindred, and of what you will do next, not exactly. That sounds, looks like pretty much what we saw on the other response, but just, uh, with, without the commentary about Nada. Knowledge stones detected. Looks like they're off on that little moon over there. Is anyone else having problems landing after Synthesis updated? It's really... ooh, nice view. It's really slow for me. I'm just mashing the land button. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can find us some Knowledge Stones. The stone responds to my presence, seeming to anticipate what I seek. The carvings waver and refract, as though submerged in liquid. The knowledge stone is warm to the touch. It produces an otherworldly sound, the notes manifesting in my mind as a partial sequence of glyphs. The stone responds to my presence, seeming to anticipate what I seek. We've already looked at this one. And find a third. I've talked about the trick of searching out an ancient site to find all three of them. I had one of those prepared for this week, but then I went to it and it wouldn't the knowledge stones were acting as normal. They weren't the shimmering stones. So I don't know if that was because I'd been there before. I didn't access the stones when I was there the first time. <laughs> Stone gonna be buried in this. Oh no! <laughs> buried under the outcrop. The face of this stone, streaked by dark stains, suggests a strange history. It is as though that once long ago it rested deep on the ocean floor. Something viscous clings to my glove, although the carvings themselves are long eroded, the nature of the stone's inscription suddenly becomes obvious, imprinted for eternity in the grime, a short sequence of glyphs. And here we go again. Ashes of the... The portal looms above me, keeping a silent vigil over the planet, readying myself to enter the recovered coordinates. I think of the structure's twin, guarding that distant, disturbed world. Someone 
not named amino acids. The last couple of weeks are No Man's Sky Cafe Amino, the systems were named. I'm on Dovi Sigma. Thank you, Bal Maha Rifles, for finding this first. You are my hero this week. But there were already com balls here. All right. Let's go find out what we need to search for. Again, I've been low key collecting pretty much. Ooh, look at that—a trade center right there. Collecting everything <laughs> the game has to offer, so I don't have to go searching on these planets. Let's see if I got lucky. Oh, it's on top of a hollow tower, a hollow terminal. On top of a hollow terminal. We haven't seen that before. I love the sound these ladders make. Brrrm. The structure hisses and cackles. The static-like energy must be the disturbance detected by Polo and Nada. Wordlessly, it transmits its demands directly into my mind. Something grows groans deep within the earth as though the land itself hungers. But why these materials already abundant on this world? 2,000 selenium. I do not have that in a structure that I can access. I have it in my storage containers, but you can't build bases on the far side of a portal, so I can't access them. Solar vines over there. So I'm gonna go collect some and I will come back to this when I'm done. Okay, I am back from collecting all of my solar vines. I said I had the jetpack power to get up here. Let's see if I actually do. Aha! More hissing and crackling. Offer 2000. Push the materials towards the source of the static disturbance, watching them melt away into nothing. The damaged plant f planet feeds upon its own resources. It quiet quietens. The breach in reality is repaired. Yay! Mission complete. And generally, that's pretty much it. Oops. I really wonder why it lets you land actually on the structure. You might have guessed that I have multiplayer turned off already. That's why we're not seeing anyone else. Here we are back on our originating planet and heading back to the space anomaly. back on the anomaly to turn in the, the mission to the Nexus. Unless the structure of these uh, weekend events change, I probably won't be doing any more of the walkthroughs since the structure of all of the community events are so similar. It doesn't seem to be really worth either my time to make the recording or frankly yours to watch it. But uh, so if I don't make any more of them, I appreciate those who watched very much and I hope you have a great time playing No Man's Sky in the future. And thanks again for watching, and have a great day.